Hey everybody, Al here, and I'm going to show you what it takes to take a 35mm film and turn it into a YouTube video. So stick around. The first step is to get the film onto a core. This is a core, and then we're going to wrap the film onto this. And I'll show you the process of doing that. Is to get a longer tail and leader on the film. So I'll start there. I'm going to start by taking the film and right here at the frame line, there's what the frame line's at, I'm going to cut it right there to get this label off the end of it. Okay, so now the label is off of the film. We'll be putting it back on at the end, so don't worry. Now we have the film all chopped off right at the frame line. The next step is going to be to add this leader to the front of the film. So we'll splice that in now. Now the film has been spliced on there. So now we have to get the film from this reel over here, over to here. I have an adapter to fit on this, but that hub in the middle of that one is a little bit off round. So it's gonna be like a little bit bumpy, a little bit noisy, but it's not a very short film. So it won't be too bad. So we won't be using this, but we will be just winding the film over. You'll hear a bunch of noise, it'll be fine. Next, we splice on another leader. And then you can see that's been spliced on the end. We taped the film onto the end of a core, and now we're gonna use what's called a split reel to put the film onto the core. Now all we have to do is wind the film back onto the split reel. We all gotta just unscrew this. And set this aside. And our film has been wound onto a core. And it's got the uh, leader we attached to it on the beginning of it now. So now we can put it onto the scanner and begin to scan it. This is just the first step. So this is what's called the Gagoose Roller Compact, and it's a uh, 3D printed film scanner, movie film scanner. So this, there's a couple of parts to this, and I'll show you, point out what everything is. This is where the film goes in, and it goes into the device, goes back around through a series of things, through what's called a gate. This is the gate where it goes through. Um, it goes around in th through these reels, goes around this. This is actually a, a long board or a roller skate wheel. And um, that's being used because it's, it's soft on the film. It gets pulled through that, uses that to pull the film through. Um, it doesn't use sprockets, so it's not actually using the holes in it to grab it. But the holes are being used by this little, this little device here, which is actually a sensor. It's got a sensor in it to determine where the holes are. And that's how we determine how far to move the film. Down here is a Raspberry Pi with a special control board on the bottom that controls all the rest of the devices. So there's actually like three major devices plus a camera down here. Here's a camera taking a picture of what's behind there. So we'll get that started and get you sh show you what after it's all hooked up, what it, we got how it works. Okay, so the film comes in the side over here, goes around this roller, out the side over here, in through the gate, around the front of the gate through a roller over here, back around the side roller back here, around the skateboard wheel, up and around the inside, of this one and then back over here and then out to the reel on the other side so as you can see our film has been loaded in there you can see the frame lines but they're not in the right spot so over here where the frame lines are at the frame lines in the wrong spot 
So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust that. There's, these control the motors that control everything. We can use this one here to pull the film up a little bit. And this is one of those things where you kind of get a feel for where it belongs. Next, we need to get the tensioners in the right, right spot. That's these two bars here. And they're moved by using a control on the screen for each of those. And what we're trying to do is to move those tensioner bars so they're about even with the front. So you can see that one moving slightly over. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other one. Okay, now they're about the middle where they need to be at. If you're looking at it head on, you can see it better. Now we'll make sure all of our settings are correct. We're set for 35 millimeter uh, DNG files. That's the files it's going to put out. I put a name Panther here because it's a Pink Panther trailer and um, should be in good shape right now. The wheels are going to turn the right way. A lot of settings here that can be done. Um, I like to scan it a little bit dark. And it's a little bit easier to get a lot more detail out of it later. So, and it's also easier to try to stabilize the picture a little bit at the end. So let's uh, get it going. Hit the run button and see what happens. Okay, it's just moved four holes using the, the hole detector. And it's actually getting a feel for where all the holes are and how this, the film has been set up. So you can see it now, it's uh, scanning one frame at a time. And this is how we're gonna actually get the film onto what you'll see on YouTube. Now it will pick up speed after a little while. Initially it's still trying to figure all the details out about how far it has to scan and how far the holes are and a lot of other calculations that it's using to try to figure out the size of the reels and all kinds of things and so it can fill, pull the film through smoothly. It's got a lot of um, built-in sensors. There's the two sensors we were adjusting in the beginning. They'll determine whether the film's at the end or if it's stuck um, along those lines. And before it can do any major damage to it, it'll uh, shut the machine down. So the film is always safe, which is good because some of the films I've scanned are pretty priceless. So when the film gets to the very end, it kind of looks like this. The uh, reel over here is empty. Um, I put this cover on it while it's scanning because it keeps the light from hitting the front of the stage. And then all you have to do is to remove the film. And then what we have to do is the um, film has to be have the leaders removed from it on both sides and put back on the little hub that came on. And then we'll splice back on the front cover. Everything's good to go. And there we are, ready to go.